Welcome, everyone, to the moment you've all been waiting for, to the fifth and final race of Pixar Fest. In today's video, we will see some epically awesome races. Before we begin, let's remember our previous racers, starting with the Pixar Fest racers, featuring Ramon, Luigi, Sally, and Lightning McQueen. Which racer will be the fastest to qualify? And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Luigi pulling into first position. But Ramon quickly puts that to an end as he takes first place. And he's tailed by the number 95 and as Lightning McQueen tries to pass him but gets blocked by Ramon before he can pass. Ramon now moves to the outside while Lightning McQueen moves to the inside who takes this chance to take the lead. And he starts picking up speed! Lightning McQueen now rounds the second turn lining himself up for the jump and he lands it beautifully as he crosses the finish line. And so there we have it folks. It was Lightning McQueen who won the first round of races which means he qualifies for the final match. Congratulations! Now moving on to our second series of racers, we have the Dynaco 400. In this group, we have Todd Marcus, Darren Leafoot, Rusty Cornfuel, and a very special edition of Metallic Rex Reveler. And our racers are off with full speed ahead with Rusty Cornfield pulling into first position. Darren Leapfoot trying to pass, but the number four blocks his entrance. As our racers round the first turn, it looks like Metallic Rex Reveler is backwards. Oh my goodness, Rusty Cornfield is starting to lose control. And Darren Leapfoot takes his chance to pass the number four. Shiny Wax is now in first position as he makes the jump. Can Rusty Cornfield catch back up? No, he can't. He spins out and causes a wreck. And so the winner of this round of races goes to Darren Leapfoot. Congratulations to the number 82 for gaining the most points overall and qualifying for the final match. And so then for our next round of racers, we have the Next Gen and NASCAR racers, featuring Nick Shift, Dan Garcia, Ryan Inside Laney, and Gogo Logano. And immediately out of the gates, it looks like Dan Garcia pulls into first position with Ryan inside Laney following closely behind. Whoa, 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 it looks like the number 80 flips around backwards as they enter that first turn. As they come out, he's still going. Will our other racers ever be able to catch up as Dan Garcia rounds the second checkpoint? He clears the chasm and lands it as he crosses the finish line backwards. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Our winner was Dan Garcia for the third round of races. Congratulations to moving forward to the final match. And then last up, we have our last round of racers, which consists of the Piston Cup racers, Brian Sparks, Jimmy Cables, and JD McPillar, along with a very special edition of Lightning McQueen, the golden version. And our racers are off with the number 95 taking first position. It looks like Brian Sparks is trying to get around and find an opening, but he just can't. Some contact in the back there as they round the first turn. They start lining up in a row. Brian Sparks trying to get around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lightning McQueen flipping around sideways, almost falling off the tracks as they enter the second checkpoint. Rustiz is now backwards as they make the jump. And whoa, Brian Sparks lands on top of him. The winner of this race was the Golden 95. Congratulations to the Golden version of Lightning McQueen for gaining the most points overall to qualify for the final match. And now that we're all caught up, we have all four of our qualifiers ready to race for the final match of the Grand Championship of Pixar Fest. Whoever wins the most points overall will become the Grand Champion and win the trophy of Pixar Fest. As previously stated in past rounds of this championship, our racers will be going down a gigantically ginormous racetrack. As they round the first turn, they will receive one point. And then moving right along towards our second checkpoint, if they pass it, they will receive a second point. And then moving along some more, they will come across a gigantic chasm, which they will have to clear. And then it's a straight shot to the finish line, which if they pass, they will receive three points. And whoever passes it first will receive an additional point for a total of four points. Now let's get our racers lined up and ready to race. And our racers are off at full speed ahead as they start off side by side. It looks like there is some contact there as they enter the first turn, but it looks like Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen comes out unscathed. Some distance being created between Lightning McQueen and Dan Garcia as Shiny Wax brings up the rear. Let's check out the instant replay to watch the action one more time. Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen pulls into first position. Some contact between him and Shiny Wax. It looks like Dan Garcia now takes his chance and moves into second position, with Golden Lightning McQueen pulling up the rear as they come out 
out of the first turn. Moving into the second turn, it looks like Gold Flame McQueen takes his chance, moves into third position, leaving Shiny Wax in the dust. As all the cars seem to cross the finish line. So they all received three points. But it was Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen that crossed the finish line first. So he receives a fourth additional point. Here are our standings after the first race. Now moving right along to our second race, we have Darren Leadfoot and Golden Lightning McQueen in the front, with Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen and Dan Garcia in the back. And our racers are off with Darren Leadfoot pulling into first position, followed by Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen. As they round the first turn, some out of controlness starting with the cars. And then as they round the second turn, oh my goodness, the big one happening behind Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Let's watch the incident replay to check out the action again. It starts off with our racers side by side, but Darren Leadfoot pulls into first position. Some contact with the exterior wall and Golden Lightning McQueen, as now our racers file into a row as they move into the inside lane. Some out of controlness with the Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen. As they round the second turn, we see Golden Lightning McQueen flip over and Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen pushes into Shiny Wax as he falls off of the track. And Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen crosses the finish line first. This is amazing. All three of our racers over here in the back have crossed the second checkpoint, so they receive two points. I hope our overturned racers are okay. And then over here at the finish line, we have Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen who crossed it, so he receives three points along with an additional point for crossing it first. Here are our standings after the second race. This is amazing. And now we move on to our third race with Golden Lightning McQueen and Dan Garcia in the front. And they're off at full speed ahead with Golden Lightning McQueen pulling into first position, followed by Shiny Wax as they round the first turn. The Golden 95 having some trouble there as he bounces in and out of lanes as he rounds the second turn. He makes the jump and he crosses the finish line. Where is everyone else? There's Dan Garcia, but everyone else seems to be left in the dust. Let's check out the next replay. And Golden Lightning McQueen seems to take first position as the number 82 and 80 come into contact with one another as we begin the first turn. Rounding the first turn, our players fall into line. And some trouble there between the Shiny Wax and Dan Garcia. And wow, it looks like Dan Garcia just pushed Shiny Wax off of the track. I hope that Darren Leadfoot's okay back there as Golden Lightning McQueen and Dan Garcia cross the finish line. And let's go back to turn number two where we have Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen so he gets two points and just before turn number two we have Darren Leadfoot off of the track I really do hope that he's okay and then across the finish line we have Dan Garcia and Golden Lightning McQueen so they get three points but it was Golden Lightning McQueen who crossed the finish line first so he gets four points we have a really close match here between the 295s as we enter the fourth race. But who will be the fastest to take home the trophy? Here we have Dan Garcia and Pixar Fest Lady McQueen in the front. And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Dan Garcia pulling into first position, followed by Golden Light McQueen. Some contacts back there, and Golden Light McQueen now trying to find that opening as they round the second turn. They make the jump, and they land it. Oh, Dan Garcia starts to spin out. Oh my goodness, folks, what just happened? Let's watch the second replay to check out the action again. Here we have Dan Garcia moving to the outside lane, almost letting Golden Light McQueen through, but quickly blocks him before he's able to do so as they round the first turn. We have Pixar Fest and Shiny Wax way back there in the back. Golden Light McQueen now trying to get around Dan Garcia as they make the jump. Can he do it? No, he can't. Dan Garcia almost spins out, but is pushed over the finish line by the Golden 95. And then here in the back at turn number two, we have Shiny Wax. So he receives two points. And then all the way over here at the finish line, we have our other racers who finish so they all received three points but it was Dan Garcia who crossed it first so he receives an additional point for a total of four points and now here are our standings after the fourth and final race Dan Garcia and Golden Lady McQueen are tied with second while Shiny Wax is in last but I present to you a very big congratulations to Pixar Fest Lightning McQueen for being the winner of the Grand Championship and moving forward to gaining the trophy And now let's give one last gigantic congratulations to all of the racers that participated in this grand championship. They did a spectacular job. We saw some really good races. 
Thank you everyone for watching this final match of the Grand Championship. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other content. And also remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. But in the meantime, keep racing!